Hi, welcome to this Canva tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create forms like this using text inside of Canva. At the end of this video, I have an amazing gift and a game I know you are going to enjoy playing. So stick around till then. This video is filled with so many tips to help you recreate forms like this very easily. So I would encourage you to watch the entire thing. Nonetheless, there are timestamps provided down below you can use to skip to any relevant point of your choice. Let's get started. Hop into Canva and then click on create a design. You can use any dimension of your choice, but I'm going to use the Instagram post square. The next thing you need to do is to import an image of the form we are trying to recreate. So I'll head over to elements and search for cook. Hit enter. This one will do because it captures the exact form I want to recreate. Now I'll just change the background color so we can appreciate everything going on over here. Next, you scroll down to apps and then search for typecraft. Hit enter. That is it. Click on it and then it opens. Now you can input the text you want to use. Pro tip, always consider the look of the form you are trying to recreate. We can see the Coke bottle has very curved edges. So I recommend you use curvy text like C, S, O, etc. You can also use curvy font types inside of Canva like these. Next, we can see this Coke is a complete form. Unlike when you are creating a comb or a rake, you know they have empty spaces in between. Finally, we all know Coke bottles in real life are round. And when we are drawing round objects in 3D space, we normally use concave arcs. That means that the line draws down and goes back up. So we keep this in mind and it's going to inform the decisions we are going to make. So most of the um, words we are going to use, we are going to adjust them to look concave, all right, to capture the form of the Coca-Cola bottle. So you can input your text over here. I'm not going to go over the basics since I already have a video on that. I'm going to link it in the description below. There's one word that comes in mind, which, which has um, curved text at both ends, and that is cheers. So you see why I'm using that very soon. Now we come to add elements to design. I bring it down. The next thing I like to do, I just hit Control Plus to zoom in, is to make sure that the edges of the text um, touch the edges of the form I'm trying to recreate. Let's just change the color of the text right here. So we can really see what's going on. Let's zoom in some more. Now we click here to drag um, to skew the text. At this point in the video, the app crashed, so I had to start everything all over again. But nothing really changed. I only changed the color of the text and that of the background. So let's go back to enjoying the tutorial. Now we can begin to skew our text to fill in the form. So we click on the middle point right here and then we drag it down so it starts filling the form. Now you always click on update, update elements to see what exactly you are doing and to be sure it's exactly what you want. Otherwise you are going to finish only to realize you've created something out of order. So the whole concept is to take into account the form behind the text and then try to adjust the text to fill in that particular form. So this is going to be a very slow process. You can speed up if you already know how to go about it. But you can stay with me to find out how I normally create these wonderful works of art. Pro tip, always make sure that the lower part of the text on top can fit like a Lego onto the upper part of the text below, okay? So this side can fit onto this side. So that makes the whole form look cohesive and together. Otherwise, it's going to look very easy.
I usually hit alt and then drag to duplicate so that I don't need to start from scratch. So you realize that I'm always skewing, stretching and squishing just to fill the space behind the text. So that's the whole concept. once in a while you, you just zoom out and then you reduce the transparency of the bottle so that you are sure of what you are creating and that you are not creating something entirely different i think so far we are on track adjusting so we get the desired shape click hold out and dry the S is a little bit out of the actual bottle but I'm going to leave it there since it's still looking like the bottle you know otherwise we spend so much time on this guy let's zoom out I think overall it's still looking like the bottle maybe I'll just work on the S just a little bit nudge it downward like so Complete element. Let's see how it looks. Let's move it around just a little bit and then adjust the S a little more. Yeah, I think we can leave it at this. Let's bring back the transparency of the bottle. And zoom in control plus maybe we can reduce the size a little over here and here a little bit to fit yeah I think we got it we got it now For the final cup but this one i'm going to reset the shape because it's totally different from the previous shape down here all right oops click and zoom in click on it and now we are going to try to create kind of a concave shape Drag like so, drag it like so, click update element, and 
now it looks much more like the cap let's zoom out the next thing we want to do is to um, change the colors of the text so to do that very easily i'm going to click on the background and try to change the background color this is actually a trick i normally use to find out what the what the color of the bottle actually is so i click on this and then i click on the eyedropper tool and then i click on anywhere on the coca-cola bottle now it changes so i come back here click on it hold ctrl x to get rid of it now i've copied it you know so i'm just gonna paste it into the color box for my text ctrl a ctrl v so just like that and i'm gonna repeat repeat it across all my text For the middle section i'm gonna change it to red because we all know that's where the coca-cola is usually it's usually written same for the cup but for the neck i'm gonna change them to blue because there's nothing there and that's the color of air finally we are going to reduce the transparency all the way down zoom out and then check if we are okay with what we have if not we can make some final adjustments i think i'm gonna adjust the cap just a little so that's it definitely we could have adjusted the cap to look a little more perfect but since you understand the whole concept of how this works you can adjust it to perfection but before you go the gift yes recently i achieved a milestone on youtube and on this channel whenever i achieve such milestones i have a giveaway for you guys my loyal subscribers so i'm giving out a free template of this design and this design you can edit it to whatever you want that's my way of saying thank you so much for your continuous support and for the game I want you guys to send me any form you want me to recreate using Typecraft and I'm gonna share that back with you. This is my way of trying to grab the attention of Canva to quickly improve on the Typecraft app because I believe this app has so much potential. I will only ask that you tag Canva and myself when you share that pic. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.